Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I am so excited because I'll be finally checking out Song's latest solo release of It's Call, the music video for an all. Can we first appreciate that Song has a solo here for us? Like, let's be real with each other, you know? When it comes to joining a new label, there's a little bit of concerns, but there's also knowing that under this new label, 143 Entertainment, that they'll have more flexibility in terms of what they can put out and like just be more hands on and just get full control of what they want to do, right? And uh, so far, it seems like that ends up being the case here, especially when we had that incredible solo release of Groovin by DK. I remember going crazy in that song. And then not too long ago, of course, Bobby, he had his music video release for Moon and I'll do that. And then the music video for Harmless featuring Chan Mina of all people, right? So it's like we've been getting really blessed and spoiled, not gonna lie, fellow iconics. But hey, without further ado, let's just dive into the music video for It's Call Now. All right, so I brought it up here. It's Call by Song. I got the English captions on and all. Let's go. Received a voicemail. Oh, you received a voicemail. Oh, this brass work, some drum kit work, even some of that electronic guitar. Oh, am I thinking what he's going with here in terms of style? Yeah, trot right. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I gotta admit, this is so refreshing. Not just by it, like from Icon, right? But from Song himself. <laughs> I'm yours. Ooh, and it's got a lot of that traditional instrumentation that you get in Trot. That's so signature to Trot. Everything's call. Calling a taxi, getting a phone call. Literally everything. <laughs> and don't even get me started with the cheesy dance moves. Like everything fits in this song, it works. <laughs> For 365 days, I'm all yours. Mm. Won't break. <laughs> I love it with the backup dancers and the, with the shades and all in the office. Probably one of my favorite scenes. And just the way he expresses himself in this trot song. So on point. Like, hey, I'm not a trot connoisseur by any means, but I feel like he's nailing it. Oh, hold up. <laughs> now it's becoming very anthemic with it. For Korea. <laughs> what a moment there. Just his emphasis in the chorus and the delivery for call. Oh, it works to a T. Interesting. Yo, wow. What a song by song himself. It's call. 
it really goes to show you, like, from Icon within and outside of Icon, they can truly tackle several different genres and even trot. And isn't this just such a great, refreshing break from mainstream K pop? And honestly, at the same time, getting a mainstream K pop artist and incredible individual to tackle trot like this in this kind of fashion where we get a little bit of that rock influence and all but also providing us with some anthemic moments cheering on you know having that uh pride for south korea and uh football there you see the sunny's uh jersey there and you, i like how also song his voice like suits the genre of trot so perfectly as well everyone so it's like it goes to really show you that like all of the members and icon as a whole they just wanted to do what they want to do you know and uh just seeing them doing what they want to do and doing what they love to do and uh perfecting it just to like a certain extent with different styles and all as dope as always like bleh. oh my goodness i actually want to dive back into this a bit it's not like overly complicated but just like in the first couple of moments the extravagant brass work that is warm with it and then that rapid drum kit work that got me, but then I wasn't expecting the electronic guitar to go so crazy to add in that fire and passion that we feel from Song himself. I'm really curious who's the, the female voice for this particular song really interested because that additionally adds, you know, those lines by uh, whoever was behind the track of the female uh the girl behind this because like it's usually used like that ad lib work and such in trot music like i'm not a trot connoisseur like that but like you know it works it everything works in this and i feel like it takes extra mile with it in my husband's opinion with the guitar work and obviously the storytelling factor that song provides in his verses like sure you know we get right away into the chorus but that's often the case for try it doesn't take time to kickstart it doesn't take time to get your feet moving you jumping along and maybe even singing along like uh yeah not even surprised you know if i end up hearing this song at one of my uh local Korean grocery stores because sometimes you know Korean grocery stores do have these trot songs and all quite admittedly but uh just these comedic moments and just him being a taxi driver for whatever reason but always call me I'm ready always available I'm here for you that is the intention here pretty much no matter what I'm down I like that Gujang, that traditional like harp string work that we get in Trot. I love it. Even even through uh beyond Trot and in the K-pop scene, gotta love that traditional instrumentation work, but also that brass work, the likes of obviously trumpet work. I give you my heart that won't even break in death. Oh my goodness. And just how he drags the lines as well. So iconic. And then... Wait for it. Here comes one of... The best moments in the song and music video. My man's like... Driving. Shoot. <laughs> Anything that works with call, he pretty much implements it there in the lyrics. Or whoever was buying the song, in terms of the lyrics.
Oh my goodness, wait, go back here, go back here. Yeah, those close-up moments, and just like moments where he's working at the office, you yeah, know, the backup dancers. So fun, playful with it. <laughs> Yo, that was fun, that was fun and refreshing, but... You know, even though I'm not a huge fan of Trot, this really worked everyone, you know? If you want a nice pick-me-up, this is your type of song, right? So, honestly, as someone who didn't, like, grow up with Trot, got a little bit more familiar with Trot, as I got, uh, familiar heavily with the K-pop scene, you know, my appreciation has truly grown for, uh, Trot, and just how Trot has really carried on a huge legacy throughout, right, obviously, South Korea, Korea in general, and just how, you know, they've been really able to take different approaches, and even, like, how some Trot artists are becoming, like, K-pop artists, you know what I'm saying? We've seen that here and there as of recently, which is dope, but hey, let me know your thoughts about It's Call By Song. Did you love this as much as I did, everyone? I thought the hook's really catchy. That's the thing with Trot songs, the hooks are always going to be catchy and you're always going to get straight to the point uh, trot music with the chorus you know really kickstarting things well i should say most of the time but as always be sure to like and subscribe as it goes a long way and helps out the channel so so much this has been garrison and peace